What's going on? I'm going to show you guys a zero carb my day of eating. And the reason I day in quotations is because I only eat one meal a day. So it's technically only a zero carb meal, but I wanted to use this more as an opportunity to discuss my dietary adventures over the past, uh, well, few weeks now. And uh, first, I'll show you guys what I'm having today. So I have some raw clarified butter, unsalted. And this is just some uh, Australian ribeye that I seared on my grill. I cooked it blue. It's raw on the inside. No salt on it, um, no seasoning, no nothing. Just cooked over fire. So the past few days I've been eating uh, lamb chops with uh, some bone marrow. And yesterday with butter, but mostly with bone marrow. And before yesterday I was having a lot of salt most of those days. And uh, the meal, for about two weeks those were my meals. I'd have like a pound or two of lamb chops and some bone marrow with it. And the reason I was buying lamb chops was because the meat that I had access to at the time, the lamb was tasted better than the beef, which is usually unusual. The beef was really shitty, so the lamb tasted better. Um, most of the time, if the beef is decent, I like it more. But anyway, that was my meal for the, about the past two weeks. A lot of salt, lamb, uh, like loins with bone marrow, and then I was taking potassium magnesium supplements. And guys, I had the worst insomnia of my life over the past few weeks. Um, so starting three weeks ago, Two nights, two days in a row, I had I, I had about half a gallon of milk each day, raw milk, A2. Just shit my brains out every, both days. Um, terrible stomach cramps, terrible gas, had insomnia. I thought it was from the milk. Uh, I also thought it could have been from eating. So I, the only possible things I thought I could have, uh, the were causes of the insomnia were dairy allergy from the milk, eating too much liver, and a co which would be a copper or a vitamin A overdose and eating too much salt, which I didn't think was a factor because it never bothered me in the past. And over the course of these past two weeks, I had two nights of decent sleep, but the rest I was just wide awake the whole night, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't sleep. I, I tried switching my diet, I tried removing, I removed liver, I took a ton of vitamin D3 and a ton of zinc to counteract the liver and the vitamin A, but that didn't work. I, I removed, I started eating uh, I switched from slightly cooking the meat to eating raw. I I stopped salting the food, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't figure out what it was. I was actually about to go to a sleep specialist at Cornell uh, yesterday. And what happened was I went down to the appointment and I was late because I went to the wrong building and they didn't end up seeing me. So I went home and I was just like, what am I going to do? I've been taking Tylenol and Motrin every night. I've been t I took 10 Benadryl one night. I couldn't sleep. Like I took so much, so much shit, and nothing was working. And last night, what I ended up doing was, I bought a ton of seafood. I s put an incredible amount of salt on it. Like, I put almost like a tablespoon of salt on the whole meal. Cause I thought, hey, maybe I don't have enough salt. Maybe I took too much of the potassium and magnesium supplement, and that didn't work. So I thought, okay, maybe it's the opposite. And then I took a ton of magnesium and potassium and zinc powder in a glass. And then I finally went to sleep. So um, those adventures of exploring my dairy allergies to, uh, and, and not only did I have milk those two days and then had terrible stomach problems and acne, uh, about a few days later I said, okay, I can't have that, So, but let me try cream and butter. And the same thing happened. Super bad insomnia. I don't know what it was, but I should be better now. I will not be salting my food from now on. Uh, even though before the past two weeks I wasn't salting it and I will be staying far away from dairy and far away from any mineral supplements at least if I can help it. So uh, anyway back to my meal. Uh, uh, that, this is all I have. I'm probably going to eat about a pound and a half of ribeye and uh, just some maybe dip it in some clarified butter. Uh, And it's interesting, I was really craving salt for like a week. And then after I salted my food every day, I didn't want it anymore. And the food actually tasted worse with salt on it. And now this unsalted meat and this unsalted butter is delicious. It's good. Uh, would I like it with a little bit of salt on it? Probably. But I know my body definitely doesn't need salt and that it's going to, uh, it's likely the cause of my insomnia. So the focus of this meal is... In, in the clarified butter, I'm getting vitamin A, vitamin K2, 
most importantly, vitamin K2 and omega-3s in this. So the whole goal of the, these, this meal and the next few meals I'm going to have is to really just get my minerals back in balance, get my vitamins back in balance, and eat as naturally as possible. Regardless of whether the food is raw or cooked, what matters most importantly is the initial quality of it and whatever seasonings I'm adding and, and just not altering it in too many unnatural ways. But um, uh, I guess I guess that's it guys. Uh, I'm going to do the next few videos I plan on doing are I'm going to show you some five of what I consider the healthiest foods or maybe like three or four depending on what I can get. And 